shooting an approach into a uh, uniform killer foxtrot tonight. I'm going to do an approach. Uh, ceiling's a little bit higher. It's 2,300 feet right now. I'm going to do a night landing as well. So, uh, I'll take you guys through it. I've already got the approach loaded. I'm doing the GPS where we want via our tow. And we'll go through the process. And right now I've got my strobes off because I'm in the clouds at night. That's pretty common practice for me. I, I don't run my strobes in landing light. If I'm in cloud, it's just too distracting. So I'll just leave my nabs on. Um, but yeah, we'll take you through it. And uh, we're just coming up on the initial approach fix. Uh, we're currently 2.4 mi miles out. So I'll take you through and we'll go from there. All right, so we are loaded up. We're clear for the approach. So I just need to report R2 when I get there. Um, and we'll be good to go. I got the plate over here on my my phone. I use my phone instead of the iPad. It just seems easier for me. So, all right, making our turn. I'll start down to 4,500. 4,200, excuse me. Atlanta, 7 Charlie Pops at R2. 7 Charlie Pops, roger. Like I said, you are clear for the uh, GPS runway 1 approach in North Wilkesboro. Report the downtime or cancellation on this frequency if unable through flight service. Trigger changes approved. All right, we'll chat with you this soon. 7 Charlie Pops. Alright, we'll switch over to Unicom. Alright, going down to 42. And this is a GPS approach. It does have vertical guidance. But if you pull up the plate and look at it, what you're going to see is it has a, a step between the intermediate and the final approach fix. If you don't step down your altitude on that approach between Ucobi and Ephraim, you will, uh, I think it's Ephraim. Uh, I'm sorry, between Ucobi and Taxi. If you don't step down to 3,800, you will not pick up the glide slope. Glide slope isn't going to come active until you hit taxi. And if you don't do that step, you're going to come in above the glide slope. That's been kept in a bunch of people that I've been doing this approach with. So always do those steps from the intermediate fix. And I know a lot of people, they'll just, you know, let the glide slope catch whenever. And that works unless you have an intermediate fix. If you have an intermediate fix, it's not going to catch it. You're going to be left high, and then you're going to have to chase a glide. All right, so 3,800. All right, so I've already got my final in there. There's my altitude of one down to. Mr. Approach, climbing right turn to 3,000, 108 course to birch and hold. All right, so a super important thing at night, um, obvious, but a lot of people miss it, is keying up the lights. You're in the clouds. You don't think about keying the lights out, can't see the runway, not sure what's going on, you know, the high work, low time. So I'm going to go ahead and key the lights up. I like keying them up right at first. That's when I get the, once I get the uh, runway in sight, then I'll knock it back down. So. All right, level one at 3,800. After 3,800, my next step, 3,200. As soon as it captures that, all right, there's the glide slope. Make sure I'm in approach mode so it captures it. All right, I'm starting down. Minimums are 1640. As soon as I hear altitude, I'm gonna set my missed approach altitude. All right, and I've already got the field in sight. Be easy to do, I'm gonna call up Atlanta real quick, cancel. Atlanta, Sirius uh, 217, Charlie Pop field in sight, we'll cancel IFR. 7 Charlie Pop, roger, I'll cancellation C, squad BFR for you change crew tonight. 1200, have a good Alright, something else we're going to do a little different on this. We're going to do a, a no landing light landing. So, with this landing, the whole goal is to just level the airplane and hold it off. You don't want to try to guess where the runway is at and chop the power out. That's going to get you in trouble. Altitude. Wilkes County Traffic Series 217, Charlie 5, 4 mile final, 01, full stop Wilkes. Put my strobes on now. Av is on, landing light is off. So the reason we do this is the obvious landing light failure. Even if you have a newer aircraft that's got the, the recog lights, the recognition lights on the wings, and the landing light in the front, there's nothing to say. They're all in the same breaker, so they could, you know, something could happen to that system. So, um, especially with the G1s and G2s though, that only have a single light, it's a uh, it's a big deal to practice this. So, with the uh, like I said, with the no landing light have basically no depth perception on the touchdown. So what you need to do is level the airplane, fly it down the runway, and slowly reduce your power until it kisses on the runway. 
what we're not gonna do is try to guess where it's at and chop the power out because we could, you know, we could be right on. We could three point it on or we could, you know, drop it from 10 feet. So we're not gonna take that risk. All right, cruising in. I'm staying on the glide slope as I'm coming down. Everything's set except the landing lights off. 500. I usually use about the fourth Minimums. landing light if I don't have Minimums. a Pappy or Vazzy. Use about the fourth landing light and just follow that in. I'm still on the glide, so I know I'm over any train. I'm on the center line here. What I'm just going to do is fly it to the to the runway. I'm not going to try to you know, uh, pull the power out aggressively or any of that stuff. I'm just flying to the runway, fall on the glide. can't tell how high above the ground I am. I have an idea, but as far as touchdown, I don't know how high I am. All right, so coming down, what I'm doing is slowly kind of leveling the airplane. I can see the strobes hitting, so I have a, a rough idea. So I'm holding it off. I'm just gonna slowly walk my power out. I'm keeping enough airspeed. So there I touched. Put the landing light on so you can see now. I kept enough airspeed where I was comfortable coming in. And if I didn't touch, you know, for another three or four seconds, that was fine. If my airspeed would have got a little slow and I would have felt myself sinking, I would have just added a little bit back. So, that's what it looks like to do a zero flap landing. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, no landing light, landing at night. Um, don't go out there and try this by yourself. Get with an instructor that's comfortable doing it. Um, you know, it's more of an emergency procedure, and you know, it's not something you want to do by yourself the first time. Be with a qualified instructor and go out and try it. Uh, but it's a great practice. It really, it'll help with your night landings as well, but it's just, uh, you know, you don't want to be in a, put yourself in a bad situation because you can't land without the landing light. So, all right, guys, I appreciate it. Uh, make sure to follow us on uh, YouTube and um, on Facebook. Facebook is facebook.com slash Northstar Arrow. Love to see you on there. Always post lots of pictures and stories of uh, adventures. So anyway, um, hope you guys have a good night and we'll chat with you later.